Hey YouTube, uh, so today I thought I'd uh, do a quick video to talk about a new feature in Octane um, from version 15.1.6.0, which was just released, um, I guess, two or three weeks ago, uh, around release processes and what that might do for your um, existing implementation and what these, uh, these new capabilities do. Um, since it's quite new, there's actually not a lot of information apart w from what's published on the uh, the help page. So we'll try to figure out uh, how this all works and um, and uh, really what they're trying to achieve by introducing uh, this this new module in Octane. So first of all, um, uh, I installed a 15.1.6.0 just a couple days ago, and uh, what I do, what I normally do with the new version, I populate with the demo data so that I can kind of get a sense of uh, how this all works. It's not a necessarily the, the, the best place to work on uh, or to understand new features by, by just uh, using them on your existing data until you sort of have a sense of, of how it all works. So first of all, um, I'm logged in as an administrator here, and uh, this is the enterprise version. So, uh, so some features may or may not be the same as, as yours, depending on which edition uh, you're running and what kind of uh, space you're running in and so on. Nevertheless, let's uh, get into this new thing called release processes. So, um, so first of all, one of the changes you'll see in the uh, UI is that uh, uh, on the left-hand side, you just have three three tabs now, uh, the My Work, the Dashboard, and Issues. The Release or the Management tab is gone, but what they have done is they've moved it over to uh, Release Management here, and uh, where you can actually have releases, milestones, and processes. So we're gonna talk about this a little bit and see what's new here and what's uh, changed. Now, of course, if you're not using uh, some of these modules, you can certainly hide them. Okay, so in terms of release management, uh, so we have a couple of uh, demo <laughs> releases here from the uh, auto-populated demo data. So we'll see how far we get in these. This is no different than before. Uh, you've got, uh, you know, your uh, your release type, uh, Scrum, for example, timelines, uh, team associated, uh, and so on. All, all this stuff has been already pre-populated. Okay. Uh, for some of these releases, we can also define milestones. So there's a few milestones and even something new called cross release milestones. Um, but we'll talk about those uh, in a, another video. And the new thing I want to talk about is release processes. And this is really exciting because uh, up until now, it's been very uh, 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 odd or quirky to try to do something a little bit more process-based outside of uh, outside of releases, and this is what it's all designed to do. So, let's take a qu closer look at this. So, first of all, uh, a release uh, process is exactly that: is a process consisting of stages. Okay, so in other words, you have a release process, and I'm not talking about uh, uh, the the release itself, uh, the um, you know, the, the, the scrums or the, the, the sprints or anything like that. I'm talking about the larger picture of the, 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 the process of releasing, uh, let's say, a, a new product to, to deployment. And so what you can do is you can define stages. Okay, and there's actually three main entities, although here in this, de de in this example, they've already set up groups for it. But basically there's three concepts here. There's a stage, there's an action, and a quality gate. So in other words, a stage might be a development stage, and the actions might be, um, you know, uh, uh, well, they, they can be anything you want almost. I mean, they can be uh, develop code, test code, uh, you know, check-in uh, changes, check-in documentation, those things that you have to do. And those can be grouped as well, okay? So, and then of course there's a quality gate and quality gate is for lack of a better term, it's, it's, a, it's a checklist. Uh, so in other words, you basically indicate whether the, uh, that, uh, uh, the, 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 the criteria in the quality gate have been met. So in other words, it's that staging process to go to the next stage. Uh, so so how, how it uh, all works? Well, let's actually drill into this in a little detail. Again, th this is all dummy data that's been auto-populated, so it's not going to have a lot of um, information in it. Okay. Um, let's see if we can maybe... Uh, uh, so these are, again, these are uh, <laughs> Advantage Mobile Store, Tornado, Tomato Gravy. 
<laughs> salesman and red Ferrari factory. Okay. Uh, but it, it, let's start with something very basic. So I'm just going to start a, a new process, my demo process. Okay. And I'm not going to fit uh, with all these, uh, these uh, fill in all these uh, fields, but I'm going to add and set up a release process. And so the process consists of stages. So stage one might be mm, planning activities. All right. And I'm going to, I'm just going to hit add. There's some interesting things about run, run things in parallel. Um, we'll have to explore that a little bit later. And then maybe another, the second stage would be uh, dev, dev activities. Okay. And then maybe the third stage is deployment activities, right? The, or publish activities, we'll call it. And again, the names are up to you, really. Okay, but basically, there's the there's the process. And now each stage, okay, when you go into it, consists of uh, actions and quality gates, and they could be grouped uh, so that it's easier to 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 do or use. But we'll do an action here. So uh, action one means, uh, let's say, review specs. Okay. And then add another, and action two might be um, produce system design. And I'm, I know I'm thinking waterfall-ish kind of stuff here, but I'm just, uh, it's the easiest uh, analogy to this. And then, uh, and then we'll just hit add. And then those two things and the quality gates might be um, review, system design okay and if you edit that you'll see that uh, there's criteria so user input could be like uh, dev sign off um, client sign off and maybe we'll leave it at that so you can right away see how this could be used right um, to to enforce a process even outside of let's say your traditional um, traditional kind of uh, uh, development tasks. All right, so that's the process. Now, uh, so how how does this uh, sort of tie into you know to to uh, to the release, right? So uh, the thinking here is that uh, um, I can. Um, I mean, I could du duplicate this process, but what I'll do is I'll I'll create a new release. I'll call it uh, YouTube Video Release, okay? And uh, again, we'll uh, whether you use uh, whether you use uh, Scrum or Kanban doesn't matter for this uh, this um, uh, demonstration. So it could be any any uh, uh, criteria you wish. Uh, we won't use programs. That's a that's a new thing. Uh, so it's an active release. Uh, that's 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 it. I'm not going to bother with with all this other uh, stuff here. Okay. So so now wh where does this tie into our process? So let's say that I've got um, my demo process, and uh, I want to now uh, go in this, and now apply it to uh, a release. Okay. So there's my YouTube video release. Okay, and now I would start the process. Okay, so basically the process is being uh, uh, initiated. Okay. Okay, the update's completed. And now it's in progress. Okay, so now under release management, let's take a look. So now we can see that we have our release and I guess I should probably have, uh, you know, renamed that a little bit better. But now we can see that the release is in process. Okay. And so uh, if I go into, uh, uh, actually, sorry, that's the processes. So if I, if I go into my uh, release here, actually, I should probably go into maybe my my team backlog to look at it. But anyway, uh, we'll, we'll cover that a little bit later. But uh, here, so for example, now I have a process where I can now start saying, okay, this is pending. 
And then once I uh, go here, I can say that process has been complete and goes on to the next. Okay, refresh. And now the next, one, next one's pending. So you can sort of see the uh, the benefit here of, uh, you know, and of course, you know, there's other actions here like fail skip. Um, okay, so that failed or that process failed. And so again here, the whole planning stage has failed. Okay, so this is actually kind of a uh, kind of cool uh, um, sort of, uh, um, well, it's more than cool. I think it's very promising that uh, we've got a release management process here that we can start using in in Octane. So, uh, so I wanted to kind of give you a sense of one of the new features uh, in 15.160 um, to to consider when you're both uh, deciding whether to upgrade and, of course, even deciding whether to use Octane for your processes as well. So. Anyway, if you uh, we're going to post more videos about this as we uh, dig into it, and uh, so if you if you like this video, uh, hit the subscribe button, and um, and uh, you'll be notified when the new one comes out. Okay, thanks, and have a great uh, great uh, afternoon.